Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, my name is Esther. So, um, today I'm gonna be talking about school stuff. I've received tons of messages all the time about like school, about Berea College, and you know, obviously a lot of people are interested in Berea College. So I just decided that I'm just gonna make the video because it's kind of hard to like keep up with like text so I'm just like okay I can always make videos and like direct people there and people can also ask me questions about um what they want to know in the comment section and I'll be able to like make more videos later because the questions that I'm answering here are the ones that other people have asked me so you like you can also ask me questions and I'll answer them in my next video. first question I have here is um, do my grades or GPA have to be perfect distinctions or you know that straight A and everything to be accepted to Berea College and um, I'm gonna tell you like no you do not have to have perfect grades to get accepted I didn't have perfect grades when I got accepted to Berea College the main thing is you have to like kind of like your record because you're going to turn in your transcript right so you want to have a record that shows that you've been working hard so not necessarily like perfect grades but just more of like you've been doing well in school so far Berea doesn't only look at your grades Berea looks at your story Berea looks at your history Berea looks at like your convictions your goals and so all of those things coupled with the fact that you've been doing okay in school or perfectly well if you are that like if you're that student that's been doing perfectly well either like if you have all of those combined together that's like you know doing well in school extracurricular activities um if you've been involved in your community if you've been involved in like other people's lives or just other things in general besides your grades and your goals like Berea wants to see that you're this person that you know you need the opportunity the scholarship and everything to do well in your future so Berea is looking for that and Berea isn't only looking for the perfect student by grade or by distinctions so know your GPA does not have to be perfect and by the way depending on where you're from because in Nigeria we don't really use GPA for high school so you don't have to look at your GPA the main thing is actually just like if your grades are fine you know that's the main thing you don't have to be perfect at all as long as you know you have your goals and your essays are good you're really telling Berea what you want to do with your life so um um yeah then second question I have here is do my English tests have to be perfect which is like IELTS and uh, TOEFL and a lot of people think that you know your IELTS or TOEFL or um, SATs have to be perfect. What I'm gonna say to this part is that for Berea College, like for the English test, they give you a minimum, right? They give you a minimum of like IELTS and they give you a minimum of like TOEFL and SATs that you have to get. Now for SATs and or ACT, I never did any of those. I only did IELTS. I only applied to Berea with my IELTS results. So um, I know that you don't have to have perfect IELTS like English test or English grades or whatever, English test grades to get accepted. Mine was 7.5 overall. I know that I, in my speaking, speaking was probably about eight and like the other ones were like, like, you know, they just kind of balanced out to get to 7.5 overall. So maybe that gives you an idea of what you should have. But I would think that as long as you're above the minimum, which is 6.0 overall, then it doesn't stop you from being accepted. I mean, it's pretty clear that Berea is competitive and, you know, they look at lots of students and they compare grades and they compare everything. But what I'm just trying to say is that, like... You can stand out with your English test, but that's not going to be the sole determinant. Just like your grades are not going to be the sole determinant. They're going to look at every other thing as a whole, so not just one thing. They're going to look at your English test. They're going to look at your SATs if you turn one in. They're going to look at your uh, grades. They're going to look at your story and everything. So you want to make sure that you try to be competitive in every way possible, you know, by your... Um, credentials but you know you don't have to be perfect i know that uh i'm not familiar with like the toefl scoring system because i didn't do toefl i never did toefl so um i'm not sure what 
the acceptance rate is for TOEFL. That was my own score. And um, another question I have here that's connected to that is, uh, do I need to have SATs to apply to Berea? And no, you do not need to have SATs. I didn't have SATs. I never sat for the SATs. I never sat for the ACT either. And I like that because the truth is you're more likely to do well in the IELTS or TOEFL than the SATs because SATs is not just um, testing your use of English. It's also testing other things like verbal reasoning and all that stuff. So um, people are more likely to do well just in the um, English testing. But if you feel like SATs is going to give you more opportunities in terms of your grades, your performance, if you know that your SATs are going to be really good, then you can um, apply with your SATs, but you do not need to apply with your SATs to get accepted to Berea. Because a lot of people think that they just say that and they don't really mean it, but you they do mean it because I didn't have it. I only had IELTS and, you know, I got in. And really, if I wanted to advise anyone, I would tell them, like, if they're confident in their English test, which is like TOEFL or IELTS, in getting the minimum, I don't see why you need to be stressing yourself about your SATs if your SAT score isn't all that great. Like, you don't have to use it. You can just apply with your English test. Next question I have here is, it says, can I still send in my application a few days to the deadline? Yes. See, you can, <laughs> let me tell y'all, I sent in my application on the deadline. I sent my application on the 30th of November. And even when you ask Berea, they're going to tell you, as long as your documents are sent in by that day, you know, obviously you shouldn't send it on like um, December 1st. No, but as long as you go to the mail, you know, the post office or you send it in, on the 30th, you know, it would take a few days to get to Berea through the courier, but as long as you send it in on the 30th of November, then Berea is going to accept it. The reason I'm saying this is because I've had someone message me and she was like, uh, you know, she only had like one day left and then she wasn't sure if she was still going to send it. And I'm like, if you want to send it, you make sure that you still send it because, um, it doesn't matter as long as you send it in i mean obviously you want to make sure that you have all your documents together before then but like worst case scenario don't hold yourself back simply because of that but we're still going to take it they'll tell you as long as it's postmarked for the um 30th of november then it's still gonna you're still fine like you can get there two days later in fact i checked mine the other day when i was looking up um my information and i saw that mine was actually shipped from nigeria on the first of december so it got to it got to berea like two days later or three days later but it didn't even leave here on the 30th i'm not saying you should keep risking it and keep pushing it to last minute i'm just trying to say if you find yourself at that point where you're late to like the last day go ahead and send it because they're still going to accept it Okay, another question that I have here is, do I have to pay all the deposit $2,200? I'm not sure how much it is. I guess it's $2,200, right? Okay, yeah, $2,200. So it says, okay, do you have to pay all of it? A lot of people tend to think like, uh, you know, those kind of questions are trap questions and they're just trying to um, kind of, you know, um, weed you out with that kind of question. But no, Berea is not that kind of school in terms of their application. If they're asking you that, they really mean to know how much you can afford. They're not trying to weed you out and say, oh, you can't pay all of it, buy it. If you can pay $1,000 out of the 2200 you go ahead to pay because at the end of the day, it's your money. I mean, you don't get to just use it anyhow when you're here. Like it's for emergencies and stuff, but it's your money and it's there for you. And at the end of the day, you really pay what you can pay. Generally, like when you get accepted to Berea, sometimes they offer you a waiver because I remember that I got a waiver of like, I think 450 or something, which I never asked for. But like Berea could give you a waiver if you don't ask for it even like when you get accepted or you just tell them how much you can pay. I actually found that there were people who stated they could only pay $300, they could only pay $1,000, they could only pay $500 and they still got accepted. I didn't say that because I thought it was a weeding out question. So I was like, no, I'm going to pay everything. So we thought we had to pay everything. And I mean, 
that was what we stated and we had to pay like the rest of it minus the waiver and um you know i still go accept it like it doesn't matter Berea doesn't it's not Berea isn't looking out for that they're looking out for you to get a scholarship so they're not trying to see how much they're gonna get from you or anything like that so if you can only pay 300 make sure you write 300 if you can only pay 500 make sure you write 500 it's not going to determine whether you get accepted or not because that's not what they're looking at they just want to know what you can pay so don't write to 2200 when you know you can't pay 2200 because now you're gonna be like stuck when you're trying to you know sort out your stuff later on so uh one question here that i have is can i apply as an international transfer student or after like a pre-college program such as an a-level program or foundation program and stuff like that because different countries have stuff like that now for the first part international transfer students can apply to berea yes they will tell you that but the thing is i'm not aware of such I mean, the people that I know that are international transfer students are those who were going to another school here in America as international students. Like, they came to college here, maybe a community college for two years, and then they transferred to Berea for the remaining two years, but they're international students. So those are the only transfer students I'm aware of. I don't know if they're going to accept you. I'm not going to tell you, yes, I know somebody like that. But I'm not going to tell you not to apply because they officially tell you that they can accept you and you can transfer your credits, maybe. But I don't know anybody like that and you might try if you want, but they, Berea, I feel like Berea focuses more on people who have had no opportunity at all to ever, like, you know, kind of go to college. So... I would just think that they kind of prioritize those kind of people over transfer students but I don't think it really matters like as long as you show need for like the scholarship and everything then they'll probably be able to accept you so um but then for a level programs yeah definitely because a level is not really college a level is just like pre-college or like foundation for college so if you have like those i know people who did a level and stuff and or like six form college and so you can come to Berea with that and you can transfer your um credits because they actually prevent you from taking certain classes when you come here so if you did a level or foundation or all that stuff then definitely you want to let them know so that you can transfer some of your credits over here and you wouldn't have to take certain classes or uh you will be able to waive certain classes depending on your uh, major and stuff like that so um yeah you can apply from a level or foundation uh it says do i have to prove that my family will financially support me at berea nope you don't got to do that um you know the reason i think that people ask this question is you know the part of the form the application form that says um how much is your family going to support you with every year if you're coming to berea this is different from the part though this is different from the part that says that how are they going to sponsor like your transport to berea that's different but this is talking about the part where your family like where they're asking if your family is going to support you with anything and to be honest you just gotta be you just gotta be straightforward if you know that your family is not going to support you with anything just state it there like did Ber Berea is literally just asking you this question because they want to know like i guess your financial background and stuff like that so um if your family's gonna support you with $300, write it there. If they're gonna support you with $1,000, write it there. So, depends on your background and depends on what your family can really uh, support you with. Because obviously, you know you're getting a scholarship, so you're not like really needing a lot of money. You don't really have to write anything there. Like, it just depends on your family. Um, Berea is not expecting you to have something there. It's not a weed out question. It is just a genuine question for them to know if you're gonna get any support or not and um i know that uh for the transportation part where like who's gonna pay for your transportation and stuff like that to berea college that you definitely want to account for who's gonna help you because uh if you're gonna get a scholarship to a school you know you still need to get to the school so you definitely want to answer that question you want to have somebody you know maybe yourself or maybe your family that's supporting you financially to get you to berea when you get accepted so they definitely want you to account for that part but 
for the other parts where you know is someone gonna sponsor you yearly then you don't need to have anything there it just depends on if you really have something or not um then this one question says can i apply to other schools at the same time as berea college can i state it in my application that i'm applying to other schools well yes you can apply to other schools and yes you can state that you're applying to other schools however for me i didn't state it because to be honest i really wasn't applying to other schools like Berea was like my last option but i know people who applied to other schools and they stated that they were applying to other schools uh i don't know if one increases your chances or not for me i feel like it would probably increase your chance to tell them like hey Berea, you're my only hope you're the only one for me <laughs> i don't know me Berea was my only hope and um, you know i told them that and it was clear and i feel like when they see that they might feel like they have no other option but to help you i mean obviously you have to be qualified but i feel like they'll kind of feel that uh, like oh we have to help this person compared to if you're like oh I have this other options so if you um applying to other schools you make the decision whether you want to stay there or not however I know other people who did and they still got accepted and they still came here so it just really depends on what you want to do in that part um this person asked saying how will I know when Barrera receives my application well when you when your application gets to Berea um I think you get an email around December like when all applications have been received saying that they've received your application and that they're gonna update you later about like you know different stages of your application so you will definitely hear back from them what you want to do is that obviously you want to track like you know when you send your um, package your application package to Berea College you want to track um, your package and make sure that it arrives there and everything like that the final question for this video it says when did i hear back from berea um about my um admission and how did i know that i was accepted so basically the first thing was in december right um they sent you an email telling you that they've received your package and that you should look out for more updates then in january um actually on the 15th of january now i'm not gonna tell you that that's the same day you receive your update but that's when i got an update saying that um you know you've moved on to like the second phase of the application and we're still reviewing your application and stuff like that then on the 2nd of march i also received another um email saying that um they were still reviewing the applications and that they're just letting you know that you're still in the uh review process um but then they, this is also where they tell you if you're still interested in berea you don't do anything we're just gonna keep you know reviewing your application but if you're not interested then you know some people get uh, um, admissions from other schools and they're like no nah, i'm not interested anymore so they probably like tell berea so that berea can kind of take them out and focus on other people who are still interested and then i got the final email about my admission on the 21st of march i wasn't expecting this because you know berea tells you that you get um you get um, an email towards the end of March, right? Late March. So I didn't, I mean, I know 21st is like late March, but I wasn't expecting any email. I checked my mail and I saw it. So um, they're like, oh, congratulations, you got accepted and stuff like that. So I heard back on the 21st of March. I know some people heard back like really late, like the 30th of March. I mean, that's not late, it's still March, but like it was later than other people. So if you apply, you can start looking out for a feedback from like the 20th or I don't know maybe early it just depends on how soon they reach out to you so um during those times you just want to you know read about the school read about different things prepare for your visa interviews and stuff like that to kind of keep you going and motivated because you know it's a wait <laughs> so you have to wait from like november till march that's pretty much all i have for today if you like this video make sure you leave thumbs up because you know it makes me know that you know people are actually watching and it's actually being helpful um and you want to share to other people who also need this um you know information and if you have questions that's not necessarily about Berea but just studying in the USA in general you can also ask me and I'll be more than willing to answer and make videos about them so I'll see you all in my next video mm -hmm.